All right, as is my modus operandi, a long one and a short one. I just finally made one that's just a little over 10 minutes. Yay! <laughs> but shorter than that. Okay, check the links that I have. Just check the links that, that I've got below this video, and especially the one about how to become a delegate, right? Get yourself some delegate training if you don't already know. Right? Some of you already know, but those of you that don't know how to become a delegate, then go to school for a minute because delegates is the way we win this thing. Um, the steal that video link, it's great. <laughs> just share that around. Because people, I hear constantly that I, uh, you know, I didn't know that Ron Paul, I didn't hear, you know, I've never heard that from him before. Well, that's because the mainstream media is burying him as much as they can. Really, he doesn't want to turn people out. He's the only one talking about, you know, I mean, bankers have no problem turning you out in the middle of winter when they, when they foreclose on your home. But Ron Paul, a little more compassionate than that, uh, doesn't really want to end Head Start, you know, right away. Doesn't want to, put, I mean, understands that there needs to be a transition for people that are dependent on government. Right? You don't just cut him off. And people are like, really? I don't, I didn't, never heard this. Because mainstream media tries to make you think that he just wants to cut people off. Who's the only one talking about how we're going to fund all this butter? Right? Guns and butter. It's always been the case. We can't afford the guns. We need to bring the troops home. And we could afford more butter at home. That's really simple. Right? Um, and then, really, how do you defend this Obama appointing Monsanto's vice president as senior advisor to the commissioner at the FDA? revolving door alive and well in the in the Obama administration. Also the fact that Obama's surrounded by Goldman Sachs bankers, so doing his best to make sure that these bankers uh, are, you know, <laughs> uh, make out yet again. They cause this financial crisis, and then he wants to reward them with more. Unbelievable. Right? Wants another trillion dollars, $1.2 trillion to increase, you know, for the budget increase. Are you kidding me? Ron Paul wants to cut a trillion, compare and contrast. Right? Oh my goodness. And then there's a great link to these you know, girls talking about the drug policy up there in New Hampshire. Um, smart, young, beautiful women, always a turn on. Uh, let's see. I mean, just keep the main thing the main thing, and the main thing is the Fed. Right? And we're not against Obama. We're pro-Ron Paul. We're not against the war. We're pro-peace. Right? Huge difference in your thinking. We're not against corporations. We're pro good corporations. We're pro honest corporations. We're pro, pro you know industry that provides jobs and is fair. We're we're not against industries that you know or, or corporations. That and see it's it's subtle because you're like well yes I am against this no you're pro the, the, the good guys you're not against the bad guys you're pro corporations that do, uh, you know, that provide goods and services that people need and require at an honest price, and that aren't trying to create monopoly and lobbying the government so they can get monopolies and put their competition unfairly out of business via the corporate, you know, via corporate lobbying and government regulation, right? We're for fair, for fair corporations. Simple as that. Where you know corporations that are doing what corporations are supposed to do, which is putting capital together so they can provide goods and services at an honest price. Simple as that. Right now, our government's been hijacked by corporations, and these corporations have hijacked the regulators, and these it all needs to go. It all needs to stop. It's simple, right? And people saying that you know he's a fundamentalist constitutionalist. Well, so am I, and so should you be. Stick to the Constitution, and we'd have a, a lot fewer problems. I mean, people say, you know, a constitutional fundamentalist, like, it's a bad thing. That's how far we've fallen, right? The Constitution is a law of the land, guys. Simple as that, right? Obey the law of the land. That's the Constitution. Support, uphold, defend the Constitution at all costs, at any price. The ideals that this nation was founded on are in the Constitution, Right? which does not provide for much of what's going on now and much of the ills in our country. Simple as that. Ron Paul, the strict constitutionalist. Ron Paul, sane, right? <laughs> Common sense, straight talker, doesn't need a teleprompter. Been saying the same thing, unwavering, for 25, 30 years. And they try to make that like it's a bad thing. Right? Well, he should change his opinions on this. And that. No, when you're, when you're right, you're right. I mean, it's as simple as that. Anyway, use the links to the best to their best advantage. 
and thank I mean I'm am amazed that you know one of my vids is 2,000 hits. Thank you so very much. Right, spread the word.